Hello, trading is closed on March 14th, 2017. Yesterday's call, I was looking for a sharp move at the open. I thought it would be down, which it was. We dropped sharply, undercut this low in a straight line. I wanted a pattern which hit its low in the first hour and then tended to rally into the close, which we got. We did hit this MJT price target for March the 10th. As always, it was support and resistance. During the day, MJT said ultimately lower prices would print. They did support under it. So the higher prices would print. There's the minimum. We almost always get more than that. MJT says the rally's not for keeps. Gives us a price target of 2361.18. It's my call for tomorrow. As of right now, this is a negative pattern because we've rallied all day and we're unable to close over any of these highs. It's, it, it is uh, doubly negative because this is a daily pattern which tends to close near the high. And if that doesn't happen, it usually leads to more trouble on the downside. Time hasn't quite run out because tomorrow's open can act as a act as a surrogate for today's close. So if we move up sharply at the open, gap up, ideally overtake this high, the pattern's killed. But there's a number of things that convince me that's not likely to happen. One is this lower target. It's not the one I want. It's not the one I want. This was the channel we talked about. We broke through, but there's something called the TD critical qualifier. If you don't add the tick to the close, it doesn't count. We promptly went back in the channel and stopped at it again. So this break does not count. This decline for what I'm calling wave one is a five wave move. We now have three waves up with all kinds of Fibonacci hits as we'll see. This drop here is a five wave drop and that's a three wave rally. So if we stop here, we're in for wave three down of multiple degree. Here's some beautiful Fibonacci relationships. Here's a recent high. You'll see how we get hits at 38 to uh, 61, 8, 50 percent, 78, 6. You look at this rally. You get hits at uh, 61.8, 50%. It implies that the rally might be over, might be complete to make that hit stick. If this is wave three, and that's one, and that's two, and if wave three is a 61.8% ratio with wave one. If that's true, which often is, you can see a drop down to about 21, make that 2340 and a half. And what makes 2340 and a half interesting is that it's a Fibonacci target of the prior consolidation. Now, tomorrow is the Fed announcement. Everyone knows rates are going up, but even though everyone knows what the announcement is, it tends to lead to wild moves. That means if we're wrong here, you can get really hurt, and people who want to trade this should bear that in mind. But unless we invalidate today's pattern by going up, I look for lower prices. This is the target, but we get just a target. It isn't a stop and reverse level. We could undercut this promptly, and if I'm right about this being a wave three of multiple degree, we could hit 2340 and a half, um, not exactly in a straight line, but probably pretty much, and that's today's call.